um, and she accused me of bullying and then went on to say that I was part of the people who were posting on the website which is completely not true I've been a victim of it myself good morning guys so um it's really, really late it's almost three o'clock and I'm only just starting to vlog there's been a lot of drama going on on Instagram recently mainly to do with the chronic illness community um, and short, long story short, um, basically there is a website called LOLCOW, I will link it. Please report this website, do not go on there and start trying to back up people um, and trying to defend people because a lot of people are taking this to the police at the moment and it would be better to try and just avoid your IP address being registered with that because if it does end up going to court for whatever reason you can be tracked back to it. So report the website but in fact no I might not even leave a link but report the website if you do want to look it up anyway um there was a bit of an argument with me and another girl yesterday who accused me of being a bully um and she accused me of bullying and then went on to say that I was part of the people who were posting on the website which is completely not true I've been a victim of it myself um, anyway, long story short, I am taking a break from Instagram, so if you do want to keep up with what's happening, my vlogs, so subscribe to this channel, or otherwise I'll leave a link to my other Instagram, my personal one, which I'm only accepting people at the moment that I've spoken to. Um, I probably will put it back on public again in the future, but for the moment being, um, I'm only accepting people that I've spoken to before that I know. So yeah, that's pretty much the update. I'm about to go to the doctors and see my cardiologist as well um, after. I also need to kind of yell at the hospital because gastro... Cardiology got back to me and offered me an appointment within 24 hours of my GP emailing them. So if, gast if cardiology has the letter, that means gastro does. So why haven't they? No one's gotten back to me. And I really, really need an appointment with them. It's urgent. Really, really urgent. Um... And the fact that my gastro said it was meant to be a week urgent appointment and then he said, okay, I will see you in six weeks. And now he cancelled my appointment and now my appointment was in September, which is way, 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 way past six weeks. Because he wanted to do a six week trial to see if I tolerated the NJ, but I'd already had two weeks of that six, week, six weeks at home where I was tolerating it all right. The NJ itself, I'm tolerating the feed is, is the problem and we're thinking about changing it, like I said yesterday's vlog. So anyway, ignore the people outside that have been obnoxiously loud. But yeah, so I'm about to leave now. I'm actually running late, so I'll keep you guys updated. Also, I just really want to say I'm sorry if I speak too quickly. I've always spoken too quickly. So if you guys struggle to understand me, please, please let me know in the comments. Um, because I'm really worried that in my vlogs, sometimes when I'm editing them back, I'm like, oh my god. I am speaking 100 miles per hour, no one probably has a clue what I'm saying and sometimes some people find it hard to understand with my accent so do let me know if you can't understand me. So I'm home now. Um, what a, what a afternoon, let me say. So, I'll do a little bit of an update. I just need to lie down because I'm very, very, very tacky. Uh, whew. My heart rate's been like super, super high all day. Um, so it's about 150 at the moment. Um, but anyway, so basically, the cardiologist is. We're starting fluid cortisone as well. Yeah, it's 150. Woo. Um. We're starting fluticortisone as well as midodrin, um, because I'm already maxed out on midodrin, so we're trying that as well. Anyway, so we said, if I am going into SVT for like longer periods of time, then carry on, please. No. Yeah. If I'm going into SVT for longer periods of time, then obviously I can get an ablation to um, fix that instead of having to take more medication. I'm probably going to end up getting another Holter monitor f for that, but I'm only going to be under. Like, I'm seeing him again in six weeks, so that would be around the beginning of August. Um, but 
I am obviously, depending on when my hip surgery is, I might not actually attend that appointment, but I probably will end up attending it. But nothing after. But nothing after that. But then I am under a really good cardiologist in Australia anyway, from before we came back here, who helped like diagnose my POTS. And um, basically, sorry, it's just super bright. And basically he can obviously take care of my heart issues from there. So if I do need an ablation, I can always get that in Australia. I'm not, don't have to get it here basically. So that's the plan. Um, it went really well. It's actually one of the better cardiology appointments um, that I've had so yeah I'm pleased I didn't get unfortunately didn't get time to speak to the gastro team or to try and figure out when I'm going to get an appointment with them but I'm going to ring them next week to try and figure that out um, but yeah that's it um, so I'm going to have a rest for a bit now because my heart is still going super fast and I'm a bit tired so I might have a nap before we go see my other grandma hey guys so um, we actually got back home quite late um Anyway, yeah, so me and Ty, me and Ty, bloody hell, me and Tom, I was about to say, are really tired, that's where I got the tie from. We're both really, really tired now, we're going to get some sleep, because we're going to have to be up early tomorrow, well, early for a Saturday anyway, and early for me, so I can get my hair done, which always takes forever, so, I'm not really looking forward to that, I actually forgot to go down and get my feed, so, but because I'm getting up quite early tomorrow anyway, it doesn't really matter. Usually I bring it upstairs so I can just set it up in the morning. But anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I know I didn't vlog that much today, but it was kind of because of the whole Instagram thing, and hopefully I did explain to you guys why I left Instagram, and um, hopefully it made sense. Um, but like I said, you can follow my personal, and obviously subscribe to this channel to keep up with updates. Do you mind until um keep so keep up with updates updates until I feel like I want to go back to Instagram. I don't know when that's gonna be. Like I said, just whenever I feel ready. Um, but I definitely want all this stuff with the chronic illness community to just blow over and so everyone can just move on. But yeah, going to bed now. I'm really really tired. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow.